Hey guys, I am Crypto Man here. So I wanted to kind of go over some basics for setting up a GPU rig. I had someone ask me about this, and since I'm actually swapping out a couple GPUs and putting them on their own rig, because that another one just causes too many problems, I figured it'd be a great time for me to kind of walk through what are just some of the parts that I use to set up a GPU rig. A very basic one, nothing too special. So as you can see, we'll start with the frame. This is a cheap Amazon frame, uh, it, this is actually a slightly smaller, so this is a 6 GPU, but there's actually an 8 GPU one that I use most of the time because it just gives a little more space in between the GPUs. So that's a cheap Amazon one, it's like 45, 50 bucks. And then the motherboard, the motherboard, I use two of them. This is an MSI Gaming Plus, it's a MSI Z390 chipset. So it has six PCI lanes on it. And so that's the important part, because I get six GPUs on it. And so that's the one I use. Otherwise, I use a Z390 and, uh, Asus Prime motherboard. So they look the same. They don't have any bells or whistles, and they're usually cheaper. So those are the two options that I have on all my rigs. When it comes to CPU, cheapest one matters. So figure out which motherboard you're going to use. Then go see what CPU is uh, compatible. compatible. And then just find the cheapest ones. So the ones I've been using mostly are, are 4930s. I think the G4930s. It's the cheapest one I could find. You don't need anything special just to GPU mine. If you do CPU mining, then you need something heavy duty. Just the GPU, you just need something basic to turn on. And then as you can see, I use the default uh, heat sink and fan. If it doesn't come with it, I find the cheapest one that fits that chipset. I I, I don't care. I, the chip, cheapest one's all I care about. For the storage, so I have an M.2 here. I usually use SSDs, so I bought a bunch of M.2s. They work fine. I do think they're a little more uh, temperamental when it comes to the temperature. So I actually, if I were going forward, I'd just use SSDs. If I had a bunch of these lay, laying over and I wasn't gonna throw them away. So uh, this one's gonna have an M.2 in it. Uh, storage wise, this get like 128, the cheapest one. They shouldn't cost you more than 20, 25 bucks. So find whatever the cheapest. When it comes to the memory, just get something that's compatible with your motherboard and then get eight gigs of memory. One stick is fine. You don't need anything special. I have not had any problems mining all kinds of algorithms. It doesn't matter. So the cheapest uh, stick that you can find. One of the tips I found too, if I was, if I was gonna go more than one GPU rig, it's actually cheaper to buy these in like two pack or four pack and just only put one in each rig. So keep that in mind too. You can save a couple bucks doing that way. Now the more important stuff. So yes, the motherboard, CPU, memory, and a SSD. It's important, but it's not. The more important stuff is the power. So as you can see here, I have a server PSU. So the one that everyone talks about is this HP 1200 watt. And the reason why it's kind of special is because you can run it off 120 volt, just a normal plug-in. Now, I would not recommend doing that because what else is running off that that uh, circuit? Is there more? Is there a TV or other you know appliances in your house that's running off that 15 amp circuit? So it, it you have to keep you have to keep that in mind. You have to be very wary of it. Plus, yes, it's 1200 watt. But when you're running off 120 volt, you only can use 900 watts of it. And even then, you can only use the 80% rule. So you only want to use like 700. So I would be very weary of using this at 120 volt. But it works great for 240 volt at 1200 watts. Because that gives us like 950, 1000 watts to play with. You know, to still follow that 80% rule. And then you can get, you know, six pretty good GPUs, 3070s or 6700 XTs, or just you know some good GPUs in here and run them off one server PSU. Now, to run them off one server PSU, there's two different types of breakout boards. So the one on the left is what we call an X11, okay? And you get these from parallel mining. And you can also get these from parallel mining as well. So the X11, and this is uh, X adapter V11, this cannot run the motherboard everything off by itself. This is kind of an accessory. So if you, if you bought the X11, which is a little bit cheaper, you would need an ATX to boot up your motherboard. If you have the ZSX board, which I, as you can see, is what I'm gonna be running, you can then power the motherboard off of it and then all your GPUs. 
okay? Now you have to keep in mind how much power you're using, but you can run off one board. And so I like these. Yes, they are hit and miss. They have some issues. It's not perfect. But if I buy, you know, a set of these, I can find that for, I can buy two of them for cheaper than an ATX power supply that would run one GP rig. So it's good to buy extras and have extras to then test it, swap it out if you have problems and that kind of stuff. So that's something to keep in mind. So these are extras. And it, as you can see, I have another server PSU and then I have another server PSU in, in my house too as extras. If I need to swap it out, test it, build new rigs, whatever. So I prefer these. I know they're troublesome, but bang for the buck. I, they're better and they're cleaner. They're easier, there's less stuff going on. And also from Parallel Miner, I get their PCI power ports. Okay, so I think this is a 20 or 18 inch one. And so you buy them like this, and then I bought just the cheapest sleeving I could on Amazon to then, I sleeved them myself. And now the idea behind the sleeving is when you have like six GPUs, you have one of these to, one of these to uh, a GPU riser, to, and then you have two of them to the GPU. You have three times six. You have 18 of these cords. And in the winter, these, these don't move very much, but in the summer, they're very flexible. And so they're all over the place. So I bought the sleeving just to keep the cords all together. Okay, and you can do it nicer than I am. I'm cheap, so I just cheap, you know, bought the cheapest one, set it up, it works just fine. But that's the idea behind the sleeving, is just to keep these together, because like I said, in the summer, they're all over the place. But in the winter, they're not because it's so cold out, the wires don't, they don't move as much, okay? So, what I also mentioned there was GPU risers. So I use GPU risers for all my rigs. I've only used them. I've had very, very good luck with them. Uh, they, you know, bang for the buck, they're the way to go. And I also use them for my thermal pads. When I repadded re my thermal pads, I use GPU riser thermal pads as well. So don't cheap out on the core, on the power cables. Don't cheap out on the risers. Don't cheap out on your power supplies. Okay, that's the most important stuff. If your power cheats out, then you can have fires, you have smoke, you do the red panda thing, and you have problems. Okay, so don't cheap out on this stuff. The motherboard and CPU and the RAM, you go as cheap as you can, because that doesn't matter as much. So, uh, that's kind of the basics. You don't have to have the fans in, in, the, in the frames. I just put that there. You don't have to. Just buy the frame, use it as is, and go from there. Um, that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, that's the basics for setting up a GPU rig, and hopefully this helps some of you guys that are newer. If you be entering the scene here as Bitcoin and the crypto market heats up. Thank you guys. Have a good day.